So today, let's look at how to draw a square in Scratch. First of all, enter the Scratch website, scratch.mit.edu. So enter the website in the browser. You can either use a computer or an iPad. So first of all, you don't need to sign in. Just click Create on the top left corner. And now you are in the Scratch environment. So it is a platform for doing coding and for making games. It is a platform for doing coding or making games. So you can close this window. And then since we are going to draw a geometric figure like the square, like this one. And therefore we need a drawing tool from the scratch. So you can click the lower left corner at the bottom right here and then select the drawing pen. Now you can see all these blocks. So as we know, this is a square and we know the structure or the basic property of a square is that it has four equal sides. These four sides are equal and they are all at right angles to each other. So we have a total of four angles. So first of all, let's do the first move. So we can make the cap to move from here to here. So let's say this is 100 steps. So here we go back to the scratch and this is our cat sprite one. We want to make it move from the left to the right by 100 steps. So in the motion menu, we have to move block. So let's say we move 100 steps to the right. So if you double click it, so it will move to the right by 100 steps. But at the same time, we want to draw something on the screen. We have to use the pen menu. So we have to use pen down so that when it moves, it will draw a line on the screen. If you double click it, run it, you can see the line right here. So if you want to clear the screen, we can use the erase or block. Double click and then erase everything on the screen. To make things easier, we can also use the event menu. Use the when green flag is clicked block. So that if I just click the green flag, it will move to the right by 100 steps. So we do the first line of the square like this. So this is the first line. But if we want to draw the second line, we have to move the cat upwards by 100 steps. So we need another block. And of course, this will be our turn block. Uh, we have to turn it. So we have two different turn blocks. So this one is turn in the clockwise direction by 15 degrees. And this one is turned anti-clockwise by 15 degrees. So in our situation, our cat has to rotate or turn by 90 degrees. Of course, this is the right angle in the anti-clockwise direction. So in our situation, in order to draw the second line, we have to turn or rotate the cat in anti-clockwise direction by exactly 90 degrees because this is a right angle. So we turn the cat by 90 degrees. And if we run it, so you can see after the cat draw the first line, it rotate in anti-clockwise by 90 degrees. And then we do another move, move upwards by 100 steps. But we don't need to draw a track and other move block right here. We can just uh, right click this and then select duplicate. So we make a duplicate of the blocks. So if you run the program, now it will draw two lines. So uh, if we want to complete a square, we just need to duplicate for two more times. And then the cat will draw a square in any position. If I drag it to somewhere else, it will draw another square. And as we can see, the cat is now pointing in the upward direction. To point it back to the right-hand side, we can use the block point in direction. You can specify the direction right here using this clock. So on the right-hand side, the direction is called 90 in Scratch. So if we double click it, so the cat will be restored in the original direction. And now we can run the program again. So we can draw a square in anywhere we like. However, this program seems a little bit too long. We draw four lines, therefore we make a total of eight blocks right here. So can we shorten it? 
we can see that this block is very repetitive because we just do copy and paste for three times. Actually, we can repeat some of the blocks for a number of times using another block in Scratch. It's in the control menu called the repeat block. So this one is repeat 10. We can specify it to repeat by four times and then we drag the block in this way. So we repeat this part by four times. And if you run the program again, so it will do the same thing. It will draw a square in any position we like. So in this way, we can shorten our program. Actually, a shorter program has several advantages. 